It's close to 300 yards From to run through Texas. the fairway. Oh, Warren. Might have been right where she is. Staying aggressive to her nature. Right out of the hole needs a bounce. Gets it. This one turning a little left early. Just cheat the right edge of the fairway as you see it from the tee. And if she catches it solidly on that line, she does end up with a big fairway. And I think she did. Yeah, that is huge. Yeah, it's 221 to carry on that line. And then it's 307 running through. Flight the ball down a little bit better. You can control it without the wind attacking the ball as much. Here's the bite. Yeah, well done. Really nicely judged from Brooke Henderson. There, yeah, got it spot on. Started on a good line just left of the hole, which should be moving right. on that one early, but it looked good for a long time. It's like she stopped about halfway. Like, okay, maybe it is going in. That'll make it a little shorter. Off at it. Wind's got it. Just moving to the center of the green. Brooke does it for depth perception. Let's see if it worked. Well, and also she's not running the risk of it hitting the flag and bouncing out too. Especially when the flags are blowing like this. Mm -hmm. Just giving one back. Having birded the eleventh. Go back to level part. And a shame hitting the green in two and three putting. But with the the location of that flag today, Karen, it just makes it so difficult to get the ball close. The tee at the par 5 14th, Brooke Henderson. I'm just going with the fairway wood off the tee. It is easy to run through this fairway, especially for Brooke at 300 yards. Trying to get the shot back. She lost with a three putt at the last hole. Miss hit her three wood for the tee shot. Didn't think she could get home in two. Laid up with a three wood and got it hole high. Ooh. I'm not sure she thought she made that. <laughs> Plenty of room out there. There is a penalty area, big lake to the right, but it takes a big miss to hit it in. This one up the left side of the fairway, maybe left edge. It's just going to be fine. It's, uh, if you do hit it in trouble off the tee. That address. Clipped it very nicely. Still a little left of the hole. Oh, good shot. Yeah, very good shot. One of the best we've seen. Great concentration there. You just wanted to go and pick that leaf yes. out of the way, didn't you? She, that was a nice, firm, solid strike and still didn't get there. This just says hit it as hard as you can on this tee. Tough to see any trouble up there at all. This one was just demolished up the left side. I'm going to pitch on the down slope and keep going. So she will be very much in the go zone. Uphill lie. not going to get up. And Brooke Henderson's third. Oh, had just a little purchase on it. And needed a bit more. 
Just to get into three under par. Stay up, and it doesn't, so it's just going to be a par, a hole that she would very much be thinking of birdie. Best of the afternoon, four under. That's Lydia Ko. We've been watching Lydia over on the front nine. Back on the tee, Brooke Henderson. Win from the right and in. Looks like a tough area to miss, actually. Well, it is when you hit it like Brooke. Definitely allows the players to feel quite free with their tee shot. Just got to throw it a little past and certainly keep it right. Well, I guess you can get away with that. Very few players have putted from here today for birdie, but it's a little slower in turn right. Just needed to hit it. Same as Lee six. It's, it's amazing, though, for as easy as this fairway is to hit this yeah. 18th, it's playing the hardest hole on the course now. Ranked one at uh, 4.13. And we're at one. Brooke Henderson's tee shot. That was an aggressive line and hit really nicely. Yeah, it's going to go forever. Nice look at the first hole, everything right down there in front of you. <laughs> I say Derby. Sure. Uh, no, I don't have the outfit. And this is second. It's a good looking four hybrid right there, just right of the hole. Oh, it's going to run all the way through. Gosh, it came very close on the bounce. Uh, sh mm, should be far enough away from that pine tree. Went up and read it like a putt, knows that it's going to go right. Kind of a dog leg chip actually around the side of the green. Actually ricocheted left on the first bounce, but really well done. Good shot there from Brooke. And a chance to get it to three under. Post to die down tomorrow. It should be for some good scoring conditions. Yeah, well done. Yes, he gave, uh, he gave you a shout out the other day on the local news here in Honolulu. Wide fairway, dead into the wind, but not a long hole. That was another very solid one. The line's pretty good, bringing it in from just right of it. Same thing. Is a 10th and 11th and two wins in four previous appearances in this Lotte Championship. I don't want to hit the wrong club. No, especially when you think he grabbed the six and it's a nine. Speaking from experience. Good shot. Yep. Oh, well read. That's the first one that went in with normal Brooks speed. T at the sixth, Brooke Henderson. Three wood for Brooks straight into the wind. This is in no danger of running through, but that started at the left side of the fairway, although she seemed to like it. Got a little too much of this. I guess not. Good shot. I'm gonna leave herself in a really nice spot there, Jerry, too. And that ball's landing completely at a 90 degree angle. It wins so strong. And she averages four under in her opening rounds here at the Lotte Championship. Those four were over at Colina. 